Hello all, this is Vivek here from Pentester Academy and I'm really excited to announce that we've just launched a new endpoint security section on attack defense. So now at the very bottom you can see endpoint security and the first subsection OS query has just been added uh, with five interesting labs to complete. Now we all know endpoint security is very important but if you've not heard about OS Query, then this is actually an operating system instrumentation framework created by Facebook. So what Facebook has done is it's gone ahead and made all of this data, which this framework can actually pick up from different operating systems, which include Windows, Linux, OS X, etc. And it's actually made it available in the form of a relational database. So if you do SQL queries, you can start working with OS query pretty much the very next minute. Now, Facebook has also ensured that a ton of instrumentation data is actually picked up. So you can clearly see there are around 230 tables across multiple operating systems. And this range all the way from processes to disk to Docker uh, to file systems and whatnot. So let's actually take up an example. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the process table basics. So what we've done is we've already installed OS query in this lab environment. And we have a couple of suspicious processes running and other things happening. And the idea is that now with OS query, you're going to go ahead and find that information out. Now in a typical real world environment, OS query would have been deployed on hundreds of endpoints and that data would be aggregated in some kind of a log collector, SIM solution, you know, ELK, whatever you want. And then you would go ahead and fire out your own little rules and searches on top of it. Now, in this case, what we've done is as soon as you launch the lab, we go ahead and give you an OS query terminal on a Linux box where this instrumentation data is being collected. Now, while this is loading, we have a bunch of questions in here for you to solve. I'm just going to take up one question, which is the second one, which actually says that there is a binary running with root privileges. Uh, but unfortunately, the binary is executable is no longer available. Uh, but the question is that we find where that deleted binary was supposedly located when the executable was executed. So we can verify that with the flags in here as well. Additionally, what we started doing on attack defense is we are also providing solution walkthroughs. So with over 1000 challenges, we know it is humanly impossible for anyone to finish it. And that is really where under earn credentials for badges and eventually certifications, we are actually not going to provide solutions, but for everything else, we'll slowly start providing solutions. Okay, so let's go ahead into the OS query terminal. Now this is actually running on a Linux system where instrumentation data is being collected. So let's go ahead and look at the processes table. Let's actually understand its schema. I'm just going to do one uh, question and the rest I'm going to leave it to you guys. So of course a process has ton of parameters, uh, has a ton of parameters and that is why the processes table also has a massive number of columns. So if I were to just do a select star from processes, oops, you would actually find that a ton of instrumentation actually gets thrown out. Now what I am interested in is probably just a subsection first. So I'm going to go back here to the schema and actually say, well, you know what I need is uh, the PID, the name, the path, and definitely the UID as well. So I'm going to do UID, PID, name, path. So UID, PID, name, path from processes. And this is going to give me now a dump of 
basically the UID, PID, name path of all running processes on the current system. So we can see a bunch of processes running in here and we can see that some of them have paths which are also listed uh, and there are reasons why some of them don't have paths. Again, you should know this if you've been using Linux. So now let's actually go ahead and solve this question. So it looks like there was a binary which was loaded from a path, but currently it does not exist there anymore. So which means this could have been a piece of malware which was downloaded from somewhere. Maybe there was a dropper and then, you know, it went ahead and ran the malware in memory and then deleted itself from disk. Again, possibility. So to do this, if we actually go ahead and scroll down, you would see there is an additional column in here in the processes table called on underscore disk. And it says the process path exists. Then we could basically equate this to a one, zero if no, and unknown would be minus one, right? So we want to kind of uh, do zero so that we can figure out the process which actually got loaded from the path but doesn't exist anymore. So I'm just going to go here, pick up the last query and then extend it with a where clause and say again, this is just plain SQL guys. I mean, I'm not even looking at anything else. This is basic SQL. So where on underscore disk equals, as we said, zero. And once this is executed, what you would find is there is one PID 40, which is running as root. Uh, the name of the file uh, the name of the process is sample one and its original path was at root sample one. Okay, looks like we've solved the challenge. Let's go in here, click on verify flags. This was question number two, so I'm going to put it in here. Click on verify and there you go, we verified it, right? So I would actually leave the other questions to you. As I mentioned, you can actually click on the download walkthrough file and this would end up giving you the walkthrough file where you can go step by step and understand how many of these can be solved. I would highly recommend you don't go for the solutions first, but rather try it. And as I said, additionally, we have a bunch of other labs as well. This will easily keep you busy for a couple of hours. So I hope you enjoy this OS query basic section. We are going to be adding a lot of other subsections if you have any other interesting ideas in mind for endpoint security, let us know and we'll try our best to incorporate it as well. So I hope you're enjoying attack defense. Thank you. Have a great day ahead.